YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. Today I'm going to show you guys some comic books I got from New Comic Book Day and also some eBay purchases, including a very, very big purchase that I got that I'm excited to share with you guys. So let's get right into these books and see what I got. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, and hit subscribe button down below as well, so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, I got a bunch of comic books today, some I got through New Comic Book Day, some I went through the dollar bins, and a few I got from eBay, and I have a really, really big one to show you guys as well, that I'm really excited to add to the collection. So, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to do more of these comic book videos, I'm going to try to at least do one a week, I know this segment, this topic is not as popular on my channel, so I, I try to make them as much as possible, to be, be frank with you guys, not a lot of people like it, um, but I like sharing with it, and for the people that do enjoy it, want to make sure I'm still making that kind of content for you guys. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys what ke uh, came in, like I said, um, that last book has actually been sitting around here for a while because I don't make these videos so often uh, But I actually haven't seen it because it's been sitting in the closet uh, What I do is when things come in the mail I kind of save them all for mail days for like wishlist Wednesdays or for comic book days like this and they go into a closet And I don't see them until I show you guys so I'm excited to see it for myself But let me show you guys what I got from the comic book shop. So uh, this week so I got this book, this is just a dollar bin book, nothing important, nothing spectacular about it, uh, but you guys know I'm an X-Men fan, I, I like this cover. Uh, my dollar store does, or not dollar store, my comic book shop uh, does 15 for a $10 from the dollar bin. So I was able to get this for like, what, 60 cents or whatever. Uh, very cool book, this is a Storm foil cover. I just really like it. Like I said, not a first appearance, not a significant book or anything, just a pure cover buy. Uh, this is a new comic book book day from last week is Joker number two. This is the first appearance of, I forget her name, but it's Bane's daughter. Um, so I picked this up. There is a uh, variant that's pretty popular right now, pretty expensive as well. Um, wasn't able to get my hands on that one, but really fortunate enough to get this. Um, I haven't read it yet. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have and how she seems as a character. Um, this is actually another dollar bin purchase right here. If you guys saw my most recent submission to CGC, uh, you saw I sent one of these books out. And then the next day I actually found another one in the dollar bin. So I got this for 60 cents. You have the first appearance or first full appearance of Bishop X-Men 283. So this one looks in very, very good shape. So this may be one I sent out to get graded eventually as well. Um, like I said, I sent the another one already. So we'll see what that comes back. But to find that uh, for 60 cents, 65 cents, whatever it is, um, it's a great deal. Up next, we have Kanto and the City of Giants number one. So I guess this is a limited series. I don't know if it's a one shot or limited series. Uh, but Canto, very, very good story. I believe it's getting turned into a movie. I don't remember, or show, I don't remember who's producing it, but it is a big Hollywood actor. If you guys know, drop down in the comment section below. Uh, but very good story. If you guys are looking for a good read, definitely check out Canto. I know a lot of you guys ask me what I'm reading. That's one I do pick up to read, not for cover buys or investment reason, anything like that. That's a pure reader. Um, up next, we have Silver Coin number one. Um, I only got this, honestly, because of comic book shop put it in my box and uh, decided to check it out. I haven't read it yet. If you guys have read it, let me know in the comment section below, but it has some decent hype. People seem to be excited about this title. And uh, Chip Sadarsky, I think, does Stillwater, um, if I remember correctly, and that's a really good book. It's one I definitely suggest you guys to check out as well. So uh, I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully it's pretty good. And if I enjoy it, I'll let you guys know and I'll be probably picking up more of the run. So up next, this is a book that came in with an eBay purchase. Um, they sent a second. They sent a second book out to me for like a thank you. We have Spider-Man and Ren and Stimpy. So I got the first appearance of Ren and Stimpy, Ren and Stimpy number one that I sent in that last submission video, and uh, they sent this video, this uh, comic book as well. So very cool. I actually already do have a copy of this. So maybe this will be for like a giveaway or something. If you guys are interested in comic book giveaways, maybe I'll start doing that on the channel. Uh, but very very cool book. It's one of those things that you never would thought would happen. Uh, Spider-Man versus uh, Ren and Stimpy is pretty pretty cool. Uh, speaking of cartoons, this is another book I picked up from eBay, actually, and uh, it's a really cool one for those that are 90s kids. We have Cartoon Network presents this as a free comic book day for Cow and Chicken. So I think this is the first appearance of Cow and Chicken in comic books for whatever that is worth. Um, I don't think this will be like an investment or anything like that because I'm not 
too many people really cared about com um, Cow and Chicken at the time, but I did. I liked it, and so I tracked this down. Uh, crazy, it was a free comic book day, but it's not an um, expensive book at all. I think I paid like four or five bucks for it. Not expensive, so if you guys are trying to track that down, definitely check it out. Uh, up next, I have Department of Truth number eight. Haven't read this one yet. I've read every other um, Department of Truth. Very, very good sto uh, story. I believe that they're starting uh, a movie for this or show um, that's in production. So definitely a, a book you guys want to check out. And uh, if you can track down the number one, I definitely would do so. It's going to be very, very hard to find. Um, but definitely a good story and uh, one I really do enjoy reading as well. Up next we have Robin number one. Uh, there's a first appearance in here. I can't tell you which one it is. Uh, I think it's the new Robin maybe. But uh, I picked this up. You know, first appearances I try to get. Um, then whenever I can just you know, it's like a lottery ticket and one day it might be worth something and uh, Just in general like it's good trade bait to be honest with you guys You know having something you pay three dollars four dollars for it could be something that you could use later on to get a book You really enjoy um, sometimes I just pick up the first appearances not all of them um, But things that I, I know a little bit like first Robin uh, f first appearances in books I know about so uh, up next we have berserker number two speaking of uh, movies that are getting made. There's a Berserker movie or a show being made. Uh, I haven't read number two yet. Number one was pretty cool, so we'll see how two shakes out. Um, this will kind of be around two and three is when I judge if I'm going to keep buying the book or not. So you guys see them on uh, Department of Truth number eight, so I'm all in on that one. But Berserker number two, haven't read it yet. Going to check that one out soon. And uh, last but not least, for new comic book day purchases, uh, we have Star Wars. Uh, this is the Bounty Hunter, War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. Uh, this is a limited series. I think it's going to five issues. First appearance of the Mandalorian in black armor. So um, this is the variant cover for like the toy cover. There's a couple different covers. Cover A and there's a variant of, like one in 25 or one in 50. Um, so I picked this one up. This one I like the best and you know I wasn't paying the, the uh, variant price. So very very cool one and a uh, nice one to add to the collection. So up next, at least actually new comic book day purchases from yesterday as well. Uh, I got this book right here uh, Batman 108 very cool looking book very cool cover this is the first appearance of Miracle Molly on the cover um, no don't know how she's gonna shake out or we'll read it and see what happens with her uh, but very very cool I thought she was a, a dope looking character so I kind of bought a couple different issues for her and uh, we'll see how she turns out as a, as a character you know it's been a while I guess not a while but 16 issues since punchline and uh, you know new female character so I picked it up this cover was just amazing. I could not have this. This is a, the Art Germ, I believe, cover. Uh, I should say it somewhere. Yeah, Art Germ. And uh, very cool cover B. And then my shop actually got um, this last cover in, but it was some damage to it. And damage didn't really bother me at all because uh, I just thought it was a cool cover and saw, saw it was a good opportunity to actually get one of the books that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten uh, for cheap price. So I got the Sketch variant, the 1 in 25 Federici variant. So, very, very cool book. Um, I ended up paying 10 bucks for it, as you guys can see. And uh, there's a little bit of slight damage on the corner, but nothing too crazy. Maybe even a press could get it out, so we'll see. But uh, either way, I don't know if I'm going to get this graded. I just think it's a really cool cover. And uh, I just think Miracle Marley looks like a dope character. I don't know if she'll end up being anything, but I like the design of the character. So pick all this up. So these are all my eBay purchases. I got three books from eBay, including the one big one I want to show you guys. Uh, but the first one, these two books are two I have on my radar for a very, very long time, and I'm cheap, um, which won't really be shown in the last book, but I was like finding a good deal, and uh, I could never find a deal on these two books that I wanted to pay the price for, finally did. So first we have X-Men number 24. This is the uh, iconic cover of Gambit and Rogue kissing. I think it's the first time they kissed in comic books, for whatever that's worth, uh, but it's an iconic cover, um, and I finally tracked it down. Guys, so I protected it immediately. I'm gonna send this one that got get graded. Um, I don't really care what the grade comes back to. It's the new stand edition, pretty cool. Uh, I didn't pay much for it. I think I paid under 10 bucks maybe. And uh, very cool one. You know, looking to see um, if they end up putting the X-Men into the MCU. And Gambit and Rogue are two of my favorite X-Men, probably two and three behind Nightcrawler. So this is a good one for me. Had to pick this one up. And uh, very, very excited to have it in the collection finally. And uh, this book, is one I looked for for forever and couldn't find it for the price I wanted to pay, which, again, it's not an expensive book at all. I think I paid 15 bucks for it, but I didn't want to pay more than 20 bucks. So um, this book has come down a little bit in value, but I think it might start going up soon, depending on how things shake out. 
We have X-Men number 205. So this is the first appearance of Hope Summers. But the reason why I like the book so much is the Mr. Sinister cover right there. Um, he's one of my favorite villains, and I just think the cover in general looks amazing. And uh, I had to pick this one up. Uh, very, very cool looking book, and uh, one I've been looking to get my hands on for a while. Any Mr. Sinister cover book, um, I tend to pick up. This is one of my favorite ones. So uh, there you guys go. Just wanted to show you guys those two purchases and uh, this will probably be sent out my next batch to CGC whenever I do send it. So speaking of CGC, I got a big book. This is one I got maybe two, three months ago to be honest with you guys. It's been sitting around for a while and I haven't made a video for it yet. Um, but I paid a decent price, all things considered. I paid $940 for it, which is pretty crazy. I think it's up there with one of the most expensive books I bought. And uh, I got it at a good time before the book kind of started getting a little bit more popularity. And this one, I think, is a good investment moving forward long term. Got Daredevil number one. So, like I said, it's a pretty big book, a uh, pretty expensive book. And uh, it's an iconic book, you know, a blue chip, big, you know, character first appearance. So as you guys can see, is is a restore grade 1.0. So it's kind of the worst grade you can get. Um, but I always had the opinion of low grade is better than no grade. Just having the book in my collection was important to me. Um, the reason why it's the restore has got tape and some staples. Um, but to me, that doesn't really matter too, too much. Um, and it doesn't really look too bad. I've seen 3.0s uh, and 4.0s that look worse than this 1.0, to be quite honest with you. It presents better than a 1.0. I think the tape just kind of uh, kills it. But uh, yeah, having the first appearance of Daredevil in the collection was a must have for me. I'm trying to track down almost all of the blue chip Silver Age um, comic books that I can. And that's kind of what I'm looking to collect at the moment. So this was a must have for me in the collection and very, very happy that I got it. Um, I've always been a fan of this uh, book, the character, and uh, just in general was really, really excited to get this one. I'm trying to get the, the first appearance of him in the red costume, which I think is issue number nine, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But this one was a must have for my collection. I'm glad I pulled the trigger when I did, because even in this condition, I think the last one I saw in 1.0 went for like two grand. So. I don't know how that shakes out with the restore grade, but definitely feel like I got a good deal, all things considered. So just wanted to show you guys this one. It's been sitting around for a while in that closet. I haven't even taken a really good look at it until now, and uh, I'm very, very happy with my purchase. So um, expensive book, but a classic and one that's not going anywhere in my collection. So there you guys go, Daredevil number one one big grail to show you guys for this collection. So like I said, I'm gonna try to do more of these videos once a week. I have a lot more heat even bigger than this thing around that I want to show you guys. So uh, definitely subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for more videos just like this so you can see more heat like this book and the other ones I got. So let me know in the comment section below what your favorite book was today. I know a lot of people don't even care about, uh, you know, bigger books, but more about the story. So let me know what you guys have been reading and what you guys thought was the best book and cover in this video. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys say. So thanks so much for watching. As always, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, share and subscribe, and uh, check me out on my second channel. If you're interested in sports cards and Pokemon at Savage Breaks, and check me out on Instagram at The Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll see you later.